It's May 20th, 2022, and this is what's going on in the backyard. I have removed sod from the front of the yard and put it into the back because we have quite the slope, and I just want to reuse and reduce and just make do with what we have. So I'm building up the back of the lawn area, and I'm also putting on some of the clippings from today. Eventually, I will bring in some soil, topsoil to put on top. I'm trying to grow this little patch that is resistant to growing grass. And what has worked really well this year is putting in the rockery underneath the trampoline. Now I don't have to move that trampoline every time I want to mow the grass. We live in a rainforest in BC, Canada, and we mow our lawn, I'm not kidding, once a week. It just grows like a weed. Over here, I have planted some plants that did not work out. Costco Canada butterfly bush did not take well to this area. So it's a bit of a pain to remove the rock and take them out, but it's gonna to have to be done. Ferns are also having a hard time in Canada, or in BC anyways, with some sort of aphid thing, and they're only doing so-so. So here's a little speed mow. I actually have a push mower that I wanna be using, but unfortunately, it's really hard to use a human-powered push power lawnmower because our grass is so sopping wet in May. And usually if you do want to use your push mower, it's easier to do in maybe like ah, July or August when it's a bit drier. But I am trying to get into the habit of doing things by hand. So instead of using a gas, when gas is really expensive right now in BC and actually all of Canada. So I'm just trying to do as much as I can by hand to save on gas. Just makes me feel a little bit less guilty about how things are going. And I personally do this by hand because I find it oddly satisfying. Whenever my neighbor sees me doing this by hand, he suddenly gets his little weed whacker out and wants to like help in the front yard. And, um, but I'm actually a-okay with doing it by hand. There we are.